Oh, yes. Delicious indeed. And not one, but two options are coming at you. And it is going to be absolutely wild in the kitchen. So pay attention, Mzanzi. And it doesn't stop there because we're using Golden Cloud for this one. And there's a competition later. So let me embrace this one and allow you to embrace these chilly winter mornings with a mouth-watering breakfast that will warm you up from the inside out. Oh, say no more. I'm already salivating. Now, Golden Cloud is known for its cake flour, creating the softest bakes and its range of premixes, including its pancake mix, which delivers the fluffiest pancakes. But today, they're elevating your morning and inspiring your winter bake entries with two delectable recipes. We're talking about a breakfast burrito and a Chinese hash brown. Mmm, interesting stuff indeed. Ms. San Giorgio is here to show us how it's done. And I see a lot of ingredients, a lot of colors, so let's get straight to work. What's going on here? Okay, so we've got <laughs> our hash brown recipe yes. with our golden cloud um, flour mix. Yeah. And we've obviously got our crepes. Yes. So I think I want to start with the crepes because okay, cool. then that we can flip those around. Yeah. Um, Are we dancing? We're switching yes, sides, we're switching right? Sides. What's happening? So I've got two eggs here and I've got our golden, um, golden cloud Fat Jack pancake mix, so I was a bit of a spur. I must <laughs> yeah. say, these, I used to, and I still do, the, I'm shaking it all over myself, sorry. Getting too excited. They, um, their muffin mix is also unbelievable. I think any of them Unbelievable. Mixes, not just unbelievable, but it's so easy. They just work. They just work every single yeah, time. You don't have to put much effort in. It's like literally standard no, staples so you have in the pantry. And it gives you like a gourmet tasting experience, honestly. It brings no, out the beautiful. chef in me. I feel like I did the work, but I can't be like the one Well, this is the eat. We're literally <laughs> putting in this pancake mix. Bam, bam, bam. So Golden Cloud do it nice. all for you. Yeah. So we've got this here. <laughs> See, the, they want to make it dramatic. Smoke and mirrors <laughs> the effect. It's an experience <laughs> out here. Um, you've got a little bit of oil. Oil goes in, all right. Now, this is the interesting part for me because I know, like, consistency is very important when it comes yes. to crepes, crepes versus pancakes versus flapjacks. Okay, it's all really about that consistency, right? Yes, absolutely. So what you also could have done is, I mean, I'm just, I'm really simplifying it here. Yeah. I've just put everything into whisk. If you want to, if it makes you feel better, you can whisk the eggs before. Okay. Some people are like, but okay. one must. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, just on pancake batter, it's obviously always kind of known that you don't want to over, over mix your batter because then it won't like have that light and fluffiness. Oh, yes. But when course. making a crepe, it won't, it, it, you actually almost want to over mix it because you want that runny consistency. So, so you want the runny consistency yeah, of crepes, don't okay? Kind of like yeah. what are, they are bigger than like, let's say, a flapjack and a pancake and yes. thinner, right? So you yes. want that to spread over the pan. Yes, absolutely. That obviously helps having that consistency. All right, this absolutely. is making sense. And just so you know, like what we're doing with the crepes once they're done is we've got some beautiful scrambled eggs, we've got bacon, we've got tomato, yeah. cheese, and all, the, all your favorite. Favorite fillings and go wild. So know? this is the part where you can obviously get creative, not only in just the sort of display at the end of it, but the actual ingredients itself that you're putting Absolutely. in, right? Absolutely. And I mean, if you're not someone that eats pork, you can do um, chicken strips, you can do mushrooms. I mean, go wild. It's and you can even go with like a non-meat option if you are looking at uh, doing it that way. But I think there's so much you can do with this. The versatility, I think, of the Golden Cloud range really allows for that to be an yes. option, which it wasn't Absolutely. before. And it really allows you to elevate your sort of kitchen a chef enthusiast within you. So Absolutely. that's pretty that's pretty yeah. simple, right? I, I, I think the real magic really comes in is in the, the crepe itself, right? Yes, Getting absolutely. that and nailing that really makes everything else come together quite easily. So are you going to give us a little example? Yes. Gonna, I'm going to showcase these skills on live TV. Yes, what do you need? I was thinking if I had a little ladle. Ladle? But, um, what I can also I do... Know, close by. No, that's fine. I'm just going to actually... See what we got behind me here. If you do. If not, I'm just going to use this little cup thing. Okay, we'll hus hustle this one. There we go. We'll use there this one. Okay, cool. Okay, nice. So basically what you're going to do... And we spoke about this earlier. The first one. The first one is always a nightmare, <laughs> so no judging. No so judging. use the first one as like a tester. It's okay, yeah, 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 Zanzi, yeah. if you mess the first one up, it's fine. We're just figuring out the heat, we're figuring out the consistency, but it looks like we're off to a good start. Yeah, yeah except I can see mine is a little bit lumpy. I actually want to whisk it a little bit more. And also, side note, your pan must be hot, and obviously I've just put on the heat now. Okay, okay. See, but this, chef this is makes cool. This is why we show you the do's and don'ts, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> so this needs to be whisked more, and this pan needs to be hotter. Okay, so we don't want like that clumpiness inside. No. That, you unless don't. you want the rust I just effect, have, yes. but otherwise no, rather go don't. for a you smoother don't. consistency. There's rustic and then there's you're going to be eating flour, <laughs> which you don't want. Okay. Like you <laughs> chew it and you get that like puff. No, you don't. You don't. 
But for the sake of time, for the sake of yeah. time, we obviously have already beautiful yes, crepes. Yes. So this is what they will come out looking yes, like. Yes, I see you've been working in the kitchen quite hard this morning, already go. gone one step ahead. So this is the fun part, right? This is really just this getting is the fun part. getting elaborate, getting crazy with the ingredients that you have, and you're simply adding on what you want. Yes. And whatever your heart desires really gets Absolutely. you to the end point, which is uh, this one over here. But yes. uh, So do you want to start building that cool. and putting your bits in? And right. what I'm going to start doing is we're doing these beautiful Chinese hash browns, yes. also using our golden flour, cake flour. Um, and also very, very easy. Right. So, I mean, yeah, okay. do you want to start You get on to that? that, I'll start there creating this. And, uh, yeah, you can speak us through that while you're, yes. going, uh, while you're going through the recipe because I see you've got some interesting cuts there, some yes. interesting ingredients. So, basically, what we have here is we've got our potatoes, which we have julienned. Oh, julienned, okay. <laughs> and we've got a little bit of um, ham over here, which I'm going to put in here. Okay. I've got a little bit of our Chinese five-spice mix. Oh, nice. You're getting way too excited with golden I'm cloud, Jay. Things are getting this crazy. Morning. That's how happens in the kitchen. It's experience. <laughs> <laughs> you must see when I'm at home. It's, just, it's the Italian in me. I and you've got the kids stop. as well. That's no, then it's just chaos. <laughs> then it's just chaos. Um, so I've got some salt, pepper. I've got some chives. And I've got egg whites. Ooh. Um, reason being is we've actually got a nice little egg yolk here, which we're going to put in the Keeping center of the hash brown, okay. something cool. Um, and pretty much all you're going to do is kind of mix all of this together. Super, super easy. So I'm just gonna give this a bit of a, a bit of a whisk. All right, I'm just concentrating here because I, put, I think I put too much filling in my. Listen, that happens uh, crepe, to the best of us. But I think uh, in, any, the best anybody us. wouldn't complain about that. So I'm just gonna leave it there for now, and I'll fold it once the end result is there. But as you are getting well into this, yes. what's the end result? So basically, what you want to right? do is you want to mix it up. I'm gonna then spoon batters of this mixture. I just wanna look. It's not mixed 100%, but I just want to show you for the sake of showing yes. you what to do. Is I'm gonna basically take our our spoon here. Actually, I'm gonna take a clean one. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put it in. Basically, you want to make a nest. So we've got our pan that's been heating up nicely. And what you're going to do is essentially kind of put this on your mixture and make a bit of a, like a, a nest vibe. Okay. And then you're going to make a circle in the middle. So I'm doing this on very rustically just for the sake of for the sake of time. Oh, good. But while you continue that, let me just speak to Mzanzi because I'm getting a little bit excited right now because it doesn't stop right here. It's just recipe inspiration. You also stand a chance to win your weekly cash prize of, listen to this, 5,000 Rand, and that's for the next four weeks. Now, simply whip up a warm winter indulgent treat made with Golden Cloud products, then snap a photo with Golden Cloud in the picture and share it with us on our WhatsApp line, and that's 079 378 9769. Or what you can do is head over to the Expresso social pages using the hashtag Golden Cloud Winter Treats and share it all right there. Plus, Listen to this. You can also stand the chance to win the grand prize KitchenAid mixer, and that's the value of 13,999 Rand. Oh, this is wow. a huge one. So simply do the following. Post a picture or a photo of your family baking together with Golden Cloud on our WhatsApp line, and that's 079-378-9769, or the Expresso social pages using the hashtag Golden Cloud Winter Treats. And don't forget to enter both competitions separately, and that's from the 12th of July to the 9th of August for an opportunity to win big! Jeez, that yes. amazing. Yes, it does indeed. Now, the T's and C's can be found at expressoshow.com. Literally, have fun, grab a picture, use Golden Cloud, and you can be a winner. Hey. How easy is that? Okay, so quickly, what I've done here yeah. is it's been sizzling. I'm now gonna I've put made a little bit of a space. You can also use a Chinese chopstick if you're feeling okay, we can for the bar. Yeah. Um, and then you're gonna slowly don't don't break on me. Don't break. Don't, don't do break. it. You've done so well. You're gonna put this in here and you're gonna basically allow it to cook. When it arrives, there yes, we go, there we, we go. It. And it's going to basically cook through. You're going to flip it over, cook quickly, bam, you got your hash brown. Beautiful Done. stuff. Thank you so much. Zanzi, I hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope your inspiration for cooking has just begun right here. Booyah. Nice job.